Hello everyone, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows here to bring you a quick hands-on look of Cortana on the Windows Phone 8.1 SDK. Now I've tried it already and you cannot actually speak to her in the SDK. It'll just bring up an error across the top. In fact, I'll demonstrate to you in this video. But you can, in fact, just see how it functions uh, in terms of a digital assistant. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to type everything in. But in the meantime, let's let's take a look at it. So let's bring up multitasking gestures. And let's swipe over, okay? And let's let's drag this thing out of the way. Actually, you know what? I don't even have to do that. Let me just drag up. There is Cortana right there. When we click on Cortana, let it load a little bit. It's gonna be a little slow because I am recording and this is not the greatest of computers. But here it is. Hi there, I'm Cortana. This is I can make life I can help make life a bit easier for you. And then it says, Do you want permission for all this stuff? Uh, Cortana's personal assistant on your phone, ready to help with reminders, suggestions, tasks, and lots more. To help Cortana work best, Microsoft collects and uses your information. I mean location, <laughs> uh, contacts, voice input, info from email and text messages and browser history, search history, calendar details, and other info. You can turn off Cortana at any time. Do you want to let Cortana work for you? Uh, you're not hiring her, but yes, you can. Uh, actually, let me let me go back back into Cortana. This is the SDK, so it thinks I'm trying to test out my app. So let me go back real quick. In fact, let me wait till these things in the background. There it is. And of course, I'll just say allow because that's the point of Cortana. It needs to get into your stuff to get into everything. So let me sign in real quick and I'll head right back. And now that we are back, it wants me to ask, do I want to back up? Microsoft can, can back up things, photos to OneDrive, sync your text messages, and back up phone settings and app data. Let me just hit not now, because this is not actually my phone or anything like that. It's just an emulator. So and then it says I'm absorbing the entire internet. Won't take long. So you see the little Cortana icon moving around. And then you see the word beta there, obviously, because it's going to be in beta for a while. They even said that. It's taking longer than expected to calibrate settings to my satisfaction. You can try again later or tr come back now. So let's try that one more time and see whether it'll work. What would you like me to call you? Now, my name is Kwaku, but because I cannot use my microphone to tell it exactly what I want it to call me, uh, I'll just type it in and I won't use my name Kwaku because it won't say it right. So I'll just put like a generic name like Chris or something. Then we can hit next and you can hear how we say it. So then we can try it again. And there we go. You can either say that's wrong or sounds good. It sounds good to me. And then it says tap the notebook icon on the top of your screen to see your interest, reminders, or anything else you've asked me to remember. So then if we want to do that, uh, we just hit next. It's just telling you a tutorial of how to use the app. So it says, hi, Chris, try what do you want? What do I have this afternoon or try to play my music? So let's just do let's we have to type everything in because the microphone uh, does not work on the emulator. So let's try play my music. And then it's going to tell me um, music I'm interested in, even though I haven't I haven't really searched for any music on here because obviously this is the emulator. But uh, and it resets every time you exit out of it. But if I was to have an interest in some certain type of music, uh, it could play your music uh, if you had any on there, so which is a pretty awesome thing. Let's go back. Let's let's drag down a little bit. So let me. Uh, there you go. Let's drag down a little bit. Here's the latest in science and tech news. Because I signed into that, I wanted to know more about science and tech news as my interests. She decides to show science and tech news as some of the things life on Mars. So then if we want to hit the notebook icon, you can see what they were talking about on the keynote where it says in where it says Cortana's notebook. Um, this is exactly an in-depth thing about it. So you can hit interests. And then you can see your interests here. So far, I just like technology headlines. If I want to hit plus, I can add more. So if I want to add a daily routine, I can add a daily routine here, daily glance, daily summary of weather, commute and headlines. Let's add that. Why not? Say if I'm on the road a lot, I need my daily glance. And let's let's add some more stuff. Let's add uh, another daily routine. Let's see. Let's add traffic. There we go. And then we added traffic to our daily routine slot. Um, if we want to add more things about news, we have a ton of headlines here. A ton of different kinds of headlines here. World news headlines, U.S. headlines, technology, sports, political, health, entertainment, business, and headline news. Just the biggest headlines, which would pretty much be those. So let's go back actually. Um, we can hit the plus again and just see more about the notebooks. 
we can see out and about which is probably things about outdoors eat and drink it just suggests a lot of stuff so let's let's hit why not why not just you know know some more stuff about you know out and about so let's uh let's keep that along and then let's get some more things up let's see maybe uh not interested in sports but let's let's have weather cuz you know who doesn't like weather and weather near me let's just see if we can find my location on this emulator clearly maybe i maybe just can maybe you can uh see my location on this emulator so let's let's go back and yeah we can see music searches places inner circle remind me uh remind me will say basically that reminds me if you type in anything here it's almost like your reminder application on ios but now you have it on windows phone so you can see uh title details and you can type things in and it'll remind you stuff like that and then you can pin it to your start screen or whatever you want to do quiet hours basically are hours that you don't want cortana to bother you at all so it won't it'll handle calls and turn off other notifications automatically say by if you want to go to sleep by nine o'clock or you don't want people to talk to you at nine o'clock from your phone uh, you can set um quiet hours to be 9 9 p.m and 9 p.m through like maybe 6 a.m so nobody bothered and you won't notice anything coming through your phone from 9 p.m to 6 a.m but they will come through you just won't know you won't be notified of them at all because you know you don't want to be a, you don't want to be bothered by it so that's good if you try to if you want to sleep really well and you don't want your phone ringing off the hook like crazy you can set your quiet hours just like that now your inner circle it's exactly what it means here uh these are your inner circle of people that you like uh i have my family and friends here but you can set yours whatever you want you can hit a plus and then you can add your own inner circle here and then if we go back go to places you can hit places what your favorite places are you can see recent places uh if you want to add more places you can do that here allow maps to access and use for location sure why not add your favorite places here um let's say we want to go to a place called macarthur mall so macarthur center let's let's click macarthur center uh let's say it is a it is an other and that's let's save that so that's one of my favorite places and then it'll show up on cortana talking more about you know that place uh music searches clearly i don't have any music so i can't do anything like that but aside from that it's a pretty cool application here so let's Let's test this out one more time. Let's go back to the beginning of the page. I think we just scroll up. Let's see. I'll get used to this as soon as I have the actual Cortana. Let's see, how do I go up? There we go. Okay, so you can see this, and then let's, let's see if we can type in where am I. And let's see if she can find out where I am. Uh, obviously, she can't do it because this is not actually on a Windows phone. This is just an emulator. So a lot of those location features do not work. Even the voice uh, microphone features don't work. Obviously, simply because this is solely uh, an a SDK for developing apps, you're not going to use it like you're using your phone. You're just going to test out your app and that's it. But last thing we're going to check out is just let's just scroll down a little bit and see some things. Uh, let's nothing else updated here. Let's see if uh, hide this news. Let's see. So she hides that news. Tap to view interests. There we go. Um, let's see. Traffic. Getting suggestions on traffic. There we go. Let's see if it. Let's see if she adds uh, some interest, some things on traffic. But she's not turning up anything on traffic. So yeah, it's 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 a thing that obviously it's the SDK, but essentially you can get a feeling of how Cortana looks like when you have her uh on your of your for your own uh you'll get that thing sometime next week hopefully if all the rumors are true and uh everything is true cortana will be here next week as for developers um you can opt into the developer program by just downloading the application um and just uh following the instructions to get your phone tied up with the developer program it's free you just got to have a microsoft account and that's it but aside from that that has been cortana let me just remove this thing because it's been bothering me for quite some time that has been cortana this is how it looks like when you have it on your phone uh in the build conference themselves keynote they kind of ran through it really quickly so you couldn't really see exactly what it looked like when you if you have it for yourself but if you want to get try out the sdk or if you're a developer for say Windows 8 or some other platform and you're interested in just taking a look at what Windows Phone has to offer or what Cortana is, 
you can either just uh, you can either just you know look at videos on YouTube or you can just uh, download it yourself. All you got to do is download. Uh, you just type in Visual Studio or Windows Phone 8.1 SDK, and then it'll pop up with Microsoft's page, and you can download all of that. It takes a little bit of time to download all of that and install it, but once you're done, you can actually pop up with this. And if you're a developer, you probably already know how to use all this stuff. I personally am not, but I know how to do this. So that's about it. I am Kwaku, and this has been Next Gen Windows. A take a look at Cortana for Windows Phone 8.1, the SDK. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.